Hello. Harry, mate, how are you? Hey, Harry, not too bad, mate. What's happening? Hey, listen, can I call in a favour? Do you want me to do a job for you? Yeah, it's a bit different, mate, but I need you. Oh, mate, I'll come and have a look at it for you. Good lad. Thanks, mate. Talk to you later. Cheers. Bye. See ya. Hey, Patricia. Hello. How are you? I'm Adam. Adam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. G'day, mate. Keenan. Keenan, nice to meet you. Can I come in? Come you on. sure can. Come yeah. on in. I'm guessing that this is some of the damage? A little bit of it. A little yeah, bit? This is a... unbelievable. I know, I know. She's uh, She's got a pair of jaws on her. <laughs> well, the good news is I can definitely fix it for you, Patricia. Thank you. I, I'm really, <laughs> really glad to hear that. But the big question is, how's Isla going? Uh, she's doing really well. A lot of the things that Dr Harry asked us to continue doing has yeah. been working. It might take some time, but she's getting there. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, I've got a lot of work to do because Isla's done a fantastic job at demolition here, so I'll get on to it. OK, job number one, the window reveals. The whole thing's got to come out, so the fly screen does too. To remove the window, I'm just going to be taking off the architraves, which is an easy job for me because Isla has done half the work. Then I'll take out the rest of the nails that are in the reveal and it'll be as easy as getting a second pair of hands, tipping the window forward and carrying it out. When you're replacing your reveals, it's a good idea to measure the existing one and match it up because there's different styles of construction. Double brick, weatherboard, brick veneer. So depending on which one you have, that will determine the width of your reveal. Reveals are usually factory fitted to the window frames using staples. But we don't have the right tools to fit our new reveals the same way. So we're screwing them on and it will do just as good a job. And that's looking better already. Now I'll just put a few screws on either side to hold it in place and then we're ready for our architrave. But before I do that, I'll be taking this metal sheeting off, which was put there to stop the dog from doing any damage. And as you can see, it obviously didn't work. And while I'm at it, I'll be taking the architraves off around the door. Before I put the new architraves on, I need to replace the jip rock under the metal sheets to give the whole job a better finish. To do that, add some timber to the frame to support the new piece. Screw it in place and simply patch up the join. To finish off the door and the window, I've chosen a wider architrave. That way, it covers the damage in the plasterboard, which means less patching up to do. Now, this is looking a lot better. We're ready for some paint. I'm just using a primer sealer and undercoat all in one because we've got some bare timber. Then, on the woodwork, I'll be using a crisp white and a lick of paint on the walls, and it'll be looking brand new again. Now, Isle has managed to destroy this fly screen as well, so I'll be replacing it with a new one. With the spline, if it's in good condition, reuse it because it will save you from buying a new one and cutting it to size. With the fly screen, you want to get a piece that's about 50 mil longer all the way around because when you put the spline in with the roller, it's going to pull it into the channel and then you can cut the excess off at the end. With the damage fixed, we can get on to some preventions. The first thing, I've got this Perspex with some double-sided tape on it that I'm just going to stick to this plasterboard wall. That way, when Patricia's satisfied that she's over her problem, she can just take it down without any holes. If you remember when Dr Harry was in here, there was carpet on the stairs and outside the bedrooms as well, and it was absolutely destroyed. So Patricia's gone and got some new flooring down, and to stop Isla from destroying that and our new door jam, I'm just putting in a new safety gate. If it's good enough for a child, fingers crossed, it's good enough for a dog as well. And the last job of the day is to install a doggy door. Now this one can be fitted permanently or temporarily. And that's what we're doing today, so Patricia can choose whether she wants it in or out. And just until she's happy, the yard's escape proof. It can be kept closed while Isla is home alone. It's got a cover down here so you can lock it off and it allows the dog to go in and out of the house as it pleases. So hopefully it lets off some steam outside rather than inside the house. And to fix it off, you just slip it into the channels, do up the lock nuts, close the door against it and walk away. Hey, perfect timing, Patricia. Hi. What do you think? Absolutely fantastic. You like? It looks awesome.
Look, Ilo, this is serious. Come here, love. Come here. We've got to have a chat. Now, darling, I've done a lot of work around here. I've fixed up all the damage. If you ever want to have a job as a demolisher, I'll hire you. But, darling, please don't destroy the house again. <laughs>